Hi guys, Professor Latimer here, the CC mom who loves science, and today we're going to talk about CC Cycle 3, Week 7, Hands-On Science Project. And so we finished our first six weeks, so as we go into week 7, week 7 through 12, we're going to be studying anatomy. And so we're going to set aside our bank to the sky for now, and we're going to be in this book, the My Body book, and um, learning about our bodies and creating uh, what the inside of our body looks like. So you may have done this before. It might be your first time, but um, most communities will have like giant pieces of um, like butcher paper and they'll trace the students' bodies and, and each week as we go along, we'll be learning more about the different organs and parts in our body and they'll be coloring them and then we'll be assembling them all together on week 12. So for week seven, we're going to start with the brain, the heart, the kidneys, and the bladder. And our foundations guide doesn't have a whole lot of information in it, but if you've got this one or your director has one, um, you'll find those parts in this book. And so your director will probably make copies of all these pages for your students. And so um, for science, they'll be coloring these parts. So the brain is on page eight, and the heart is on page 10, and the kidneys and bladder are on page 12. And so it's got um, suggestions on what colors to color them in. Uh, you can use colored pencils, crayons. Crayons work really well. Um, they kind of color quickly and they don't bleed through like a marker would. But so you'll have your students, you'll, each student will get their own copies of the organs and they will color them. And as they're coloring them, you as the tutor can talk more about what each of these parts of our body do. And so in the My Body book, on the back side of your cutout, so you'll have like the brain. On this side, it's got a, a description of what our brain does. And so it's, it's a fun, uh, way to read about what the brain does. It's maybe a little less scientific, uh, but just kind of more fun to listen to. So it's probably especially if you, if you have the younger students, that would be just a good section to read about each part because um, it lays it out pretty simply to understand. If you wanted something that has a little more details, um, Nicole Liam has her science scripts. And again, you can find these on CC Connected in the, the sandbox e-zine for week seven. So each of these weeks, seven through 12 should have them. Um, so she has them for week seven and she's got also some descriptions of what our brain does and how it works. And I like um, how she ties in she just gives these clues on how to tie in our memory work that we've been working on. So we're learning about our brain. Our brain is part of our nervous system. So it's a good opportunity to bring up memory work. Okay, what are the parts of the nervous system? Um, our brain controls our five senses. So can we name our five senses? Um, talk about our brain sits inside our axial skeleton. So inside our skull. And then we have our vertebrae, ribs, and sternum. Our heart is part of our circulatory system, which we haven't learned a lot about yet, but we will later on in new grammar. Um, but we have learned about the different types of muscles, and our heart is a cardiac muscle. Um, and our blood transports oxygen to the tissues of our body. So what are the types of tissues that we have? And um, on our bladder and our kidneys are part of the excretory system, which we just... Um, which we're gonna be learning about. So, um, just tie in those memory work um, facts that we've learned and what the students will be doing, they'll be coloring them and cutting them out if possible, if you have enough time. And something that we've used in the past that's been really helpful is just to put, like put the student's name on one of these like manila envelopes and just stick all their organs inside. Um, I recommend having them write their name on the back 
of each part because at the end of the six weeks when everybody has their organs laid out and we're putting the body together it's really easy to kind of lose track of whose is whose and so have them put their name on the back of each part and then you can store all the parts in their own little envelope or like a ziploc baggie um, one of those, like a gallon size um, but this is nice if say they don't get finished or they miss a week and they need to come back and they have extra to color in um, you could fit a whole piece of paper inside one of these and so if they don't finish cutting it out or if they still need to work on some this kind of holds everything so that's about it for week seven again we're learning the brain and the heart and the kidney and the bladder and so um, again you can just kind of read through this as they're coloring or if you want um, a little more scientific detail you can grab Nicole Liam's script and kind of read from that um, try to tie in the memory work that we've already learned and um, if you've got these are kind of small uh, pictures but if you can find bigger pictures or Marcy, she can kind of show how they where they fit inside the body and um, how they are all connected so um, it's really cool to see how God created each part of our body just so amazing and so perfect for its unique purpose and so how we need all these things together um, to live and breathe and live in our world so have fun with week seven and I'll see you guys soon